retrofitting or EV conversion of traditional gas in cars to EVs is a phenomenon that is being followed everywhere in the world now. Companies like Unas and Electric Autoworks are converting decades old uh, classic cars to EV in a seamless manner. Retrofitting is also being done here in Pakistan and we have taken it a bit further and we have developed bolt in kits for traditional gas in cars that allow us to convert any gasoline car to EV within a matter of hours. A bolt in EV conversion kit primarily consists of a motor, a motor controller, battery, a battery management system, an adapter plate and most importantly a coupler. And in today's video we will be converting a Suzuki Mehran to electric vehicle. Uh, we all know that a Suzuki Mehran is abundantly found in Pakistan and it gives a perfect solution for a poor man's TV. Right now, I am removing the CV joint and then afterwards, I will be removing the transmission. Now, I will be removing the steering assembly from the hub. See then. Now the axle has been removed and now we will remove the transmission. Converting a traditional internal combustion engine car to electric, we have to have these important components. Let me show you. This is an electric motor, uh, 7.5 kilowatt DLDC motor. Uh, this is the adapter plate, flywheel, this is the clutch plate and pressure plate, coupler, this is the motor controller uh, and this is the accelerator pedal or the throttle and this is 72 volts charger. So we have assembled 72 volts lithium iron phosphate battery pack. Uh, we have integrated uh, the battery management system with this uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, battery. Uh, these are 23 cells in series. This BMS is used to monitor the voltage, current and temperature of the cells. Now we are connecting this coupler with this motor. And we should keep that in mind that this groove is aligned with these openings. just about converting the old cars to electric uh, it is about breathing a whole new life into the uh, old cars and it is also about contributing to the uh, eco-friendly future and a sustainable future having zero emissions
with the cutlet. So here we go. Firstly, we will connect the clutch plate and then the uh, pressure plate. We have to see that the uh, clutch plate is aligned with the bearing. We have completed the wiring, uh, now we are uh, going to press the throttle.
battery pack at the rear of vehicle. This is our uh, battery pack. We will charge this battery pack with our very own uh, level 1 charger. Uh, we have developed and designed this charger at rapid velocity. So this is our charging port. We simply connect it in a plug and play manner. Uh, and this is for overnight charging. 